Hey, this is Annie. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about FTMO again and more specifically about a challenge that I started recently or a month ago. So I did another FTMO challenge. I was, um, yeah, I was excited to, to do another challenge. So I um, started another 100K challenge. And I kind of failed it, I would say, but uh, I would say, uh, tell you exactly what happened in this video. So what you can see here in the background already is the count and I will show you the performance of the bot <clears throat> in a second. So this is a 100K, um, 100K US dollar FTMO challenge account. And you can see I was trading three different charts. I was trading the scalping project EA strategy. That is a strategy of mine that I also have in the MetaTrader or MQL5 market. I talked about this a lot in the or on the YouTube channel, and you can you can also try this. And um, this strategy has really good has a really good performance in the strategy tester, and therefore I tried um, this challenge with this EA. I traded a total of three markets, three shards, and used the same settings. Um, yeah, I think it was the same for every single chart. So I traded buy and sell trades. Time frame was one hour. The bars N was 10. And then I traded a risk of 4% for every single trade. TP and SL were uh, both 200 points from the entry or trigger price and the trading stop loss is activated after just 20 points in profit and trades in a distance of 10 points. Then I'm using the time filter to not trade overnight and yeah that's pretty much it. Also I use the drawdown monitoring which is uh, which should close all the positions if the count is 4% in a loss and you can see here if I click on the settings for the other charts um, they are completely the same. So everywhere I use the same settings, just 20 points for the trading stop loss trigger. And I think the rest is kind of as um, it is in the default settings already for the EA. And I use the 4% risk and um, drawdown monitoring, of course, because I don't want to breach the 5% drawdown. So what happened in this account? So you can see right now it is... Um, like at the end of the challenge, it is at 100,865. So even though I kind of lost the challenge or I did not win the challenge, it's not that I made um, generated losses. It's still profitable. And this would be a really great result for the, for the month because the EA generated profits. But the big problem is these challenges are kind of really a challenge so uh, the prop firms want you to fail and this is why they have really strict rules that you have to um that you have to pass and i needed a total of 10 percent profit or at least five percent at the end of the month to continue this challenge so if we have a look at the ftmo now this is the ftmo overview so you can see if i have a look at the metrics here for this specific account you can see how it went. So when I started trading, um, there were a few winners. So the account was in profit, like 3.8K, 3 which was looking quite nice at this point. But then there were one, two, a total of three losing trades really close to each other, which of course ate the performance. But since I'm trading with a 4% risk, there was no violation of any rules. So this is what we can see when we have a look at the rules. Where are the rules? So you can see the maximum daily drawdown was 4.1% uh, 4 and the maximum total loss was close to 6%. So I passed all of these um, goals and also I traded a total of 15 days but the problem is the profit target was not reached since the final result was only 800 euro in profit or US dollar and this is um, because yeah of these three losing trades um, after the third losing trade the count was recovering quite nice and this is kind of what you can expect with a strategy like this because it has a really high hit rate of course because of the really low risk reward ratio so um, normally you should see more winning trades than losing trades these three trades 
um, following each other uh, so 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 shortly it was um, really unfortunate but then there were a lot of winning trades and at this point i was hoping for the count to reach the uh, the five percent profit target and if i have a look at it it looks like i reached it so maybe i actually even messed this up but when i looked at the count i'm not sure if i was 5k in profit because at this point oh wait no i think i was 5k in profit and then directly afterwards i had another losing trade so this was three days before the challenge ended so what i could have done here is like stop the challenge and just wait three days to apply for the extension because if you are 5% in profit at, at the end of the month that you have for this challenge, you can request a 14 days extension. So this is what I could have done, but I decided to just trade on because if I would have asked for the extension, I would have also just traded the same strategy in the next two weeks. And then the next trade was unfortunately a losing trade. But um, good thing for me, since I was 5K in profit and I lose only 4K, like on average with a losing trade, I was still profitable after this trade and I had three more trading days. But what I did, of course, at this point is I turned off the, the, the expert advisors and decided to not trade anymore for the next three days because if you are in profit after a challenge, you will get a free repeat. And this is what I just received. So you can see here this new challenge here that is already available and that I can start now after I finish this video. It is ongoing. It is yeah, not started yet. And this is the one that I received automatically after um, I, I, I ended the last one. So it took like three days. They checked everything and then I automatically received a new challenge. This one is free if you want to say so because it is the repeat challenge. So what I can say at this point is Challenges are still really tough and it's hard to, to pass a challenge. You will need luck because you need a good performance in this specific period of time. But what I can also say is um, FTMO so far is treating me really fair and they stick to what they say on the website. So, I mean, even though I did not win the challenge, I was in profit at the end of the month and I received the automatic um, extension or the, the, the automatic um, repeat, the free, the free repeat challenge. And this is now available here. I can look at my credentials and I can start a new challenge. So um, yeah, maybe we can have a look at the metrics again to see how this was going. So you can see uh, GBP, USD was going really well. USD, uh, Euro USD, and USD Japanese Yen were kind of producing losses. And yeah, on, av uh, on average, like if we take into account all of the trades, it is then a um, profit of only 800, which is not enough. Let's have a look at the count here again. We can also have a look at the history. So you can see here started with 100k, then there were the first winning trades, then two big losing trades directly following each other on two separate days, I think. And yeah, then again, some winning trades, another losing trades and uh, trade. And at this point, the challenge was kind of lost, but I still aimed for the 5% profit. And um, it was really good, actually, after the third losing trade, there were a lot of winning trades. And then, yeah, in the end, this last losing trade, when I um, then decided to, to stop trading and just get the free retake because it wouldn't, uh, wasn't necessary to take any risk. Um, I mean, I run the strategy in other accounts, so there, there were no more losing trades in the next three days, but still it's a good thing that I decided to not trade anymore and just wait for the free retake. So this is the update on this challenge that I did. So yeah, I will, I will now... Um, log into the new account that I received here, this new challenge. And then I think I will just trade the same strategy again, because why not? I mean, maybe um, I'm, uh, I get more winning trades this time. Maybe I can pass the challenge. So if I pass it, you will, of course, um, get an update on YouTube. And yeah, if you want to follow along how the challenge goes, uh, leave me a like on this video and maybe write a comment. So this is the update on my latest FTMO challenge. And I uh, hope you like this 
little update. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and we will see each other again in the next video. Until then, have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye.